Hello, and thank you for joining me this month for our online workshop. We are featuring the Elephant Parade Bundle. This sweet and beautiful bundle is available in our main catalog. And um, the reason I chose it for this month's class is I thought that the elephant images are just adorable. The host code is up above in the video and I will put a link in there so you can link to my store to get your card class for free. Um, it's free with a $35 order and I will mail you a packet. Now, if you're new to stamping, you might need the stamp set. Well, you'll definitely need the stamp set to make it exactly the way I'm making it. And you're gonna want a gray granite ink pad. In addition, you're gonna need three or four other colors of ink, and I used markers. You can use markers, you can use ink pads, you can use reinkers. Um, I used Sweet Sorbet, Pool Party, Blushing Bride, and Smoky Slate. And it doesn't matter if you use a marker, an ink pad, or a reinker for that part, because we're just gonna use it to color in. If you get up to $50, you get to pick a celebration offering. If you haven't seen the celebration offerings, I did them last month in the live video. So um, make sure you check out last week's uh, live video on Tuesday. And I went through a whole bunch of the celebration stuff. I went through the whole catalog actually and showed a bunch of samples. And if you spend 60 using the same host code, I will throw in a package of pearls absolutely free. So um, $60, you get the pearls, you get your celebration reward, and you get the packet. Now, if you upgrade to a $100 order, you can get one of the $100 celebration offerings, or you can get two fifties, because um, it's an exciting time of year. Celebration's always such a great time. All right, so I'm gonna flip the camera and we will get started, thank you. My goodness, aren't they sweet? So to get started, you need the gray granite ink pad. That's what I use to stamp all of the images. And um, in addition, you, you'll you want to have Sweet Sorbet, uh, Blushing Bride, Pool Party, and Smoky Slate. And that can either be ink pads, markers, or ink refills, but that's the colors that I used. But uh, it'll work with any application. So, when you get a packet in the mail from me, this is what it's gonna look like. It's all packaged up and it will be stacked for you, ready to dig into. And the first card is here at the top. Here we go. Oh my gosh, so cute. And here's my little guy. Okay, so they're stacked, which is, makes it really easy. So everything for card one is right at the top. The four envelopes sit at the bottom of the packet. And this one has um, a die cut square for you and some strips of paper in those colors again. Blushing Bride, Sweet Sorbet, aren't they pretty? Oh my gosh, and Pool Party. You're also gonna want your own Wink Estella. This one came from Stampin' Up. Um, so Wink Estella is a glitter brush, but we're gonna use it to watercolor. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to start a Wink Estella because we're brand new here. I'm gonna assume everybody's brand new, but everybody's welcome, of course. So you unscrew this and you take this out and that can be discarded. And then you screw it back together and pull. So inside here, I'll tell you a little bit about it. There's a pin and um, the glitter sits in this side and there's a brush in this side. You screw it back together and then you pull and then to get it started, I'm gonna use the back side of this white layer because um, I'm gonna stick it down to my card base anyway. And I'm gonna push both sides. So on the side here, it says push. You push both sides until you see the, the paint come down and then you stop. So once you get it going, um, you can grab a piece of scrap paper and you're gonna work the brush and shake, shake, shake until you get it to come down. If you keep pushing with the primer, um, you'll get a big blob of it and it won't. you'll waste it, so you don't wanna do that. So now the paint is coming down and we know that we're started in our Wink Estella party here. 
and then I'll set that to the side. So to get started, I'm gonna stamp the sentiment in the bottom corner. And again, I'm using gray granite ink. And I'll start with what a happy day. This would be great as a baby card. It would be a great birthday card. Just an awesome sentiment. And if you're like me and you put the stamp on the, the block a little bit crooked, you can flip it over and get it straight and have another go. So that's what I did, whoops. But that's okay because I always try to line the, um, the block up or the stamp up with the block and then it makes it easier for me to line it up straight. Okay, so next I'm gonna add my strips of paper and I'll just add a little bit of Seal Plus. This is a double-sided ad adhesive dispenser. Um, I prefer the Plus. I think it sticks good. Um, but you could use liquid glue for this. You could use regular seal. And I'm just sticking these layers down. These are one inch strips. And it all comes cut for you. And then when you're done, you're gonna flip it over and use your paper snips to trim the back. This is a super easy way to be able to see where the line where you need to trim is. And you don't even need to be able to cut a straight line all that much. You just follow the line of the paper and trim off the excess. Okay, so we have a really cool background going on here. Put that off to the side. Next, um, we're gonna adhere this onto our card base and then we're gonna get stamping. So, We'll put this on the white first. Right onto the card base, here we go. Awesome, okay, so now we're gonna do our stamping. And for that, I'm gonna bring in my cut, my pierce mat. I like to have it under my work surface, especially because my table is plastic, so it's, easy for me to see where I'm going. Um, and I like to put a piece of black paper and a piece of white paper. If I'm stamping on something, whatever whatever the contrast color is, I, I use that. So here we go, I'm gonna stamp my elephant. And now he needs a balloon. So when you ink up, go nice and easy. This is a very thin image and it's easy to smush down and catch the sides. So just go nice and easy when you're inking up. You'll get plenty of ink on there, see? You can see, I just tap, tap, tap. And then we're gonna um, put the balloon right on his snout there. Ah, uh, close enough. I got much closer in the sample card, isn't that funny? Okay, so now here comes the fun part. I'm gonna take the rest of the packet out and put it off to the side, but I gotta be real careful because I there's pieces in here that can get lost. So I'm gonna go nice and easy and put it off to the side. And I'm gonna use my plastic bag here to set up a paint palette. So I'm gonna flip that over so you can see what I'm doing. Here's the back of the bag that I got, and I'll just be throwing this out at the end anyway. So um, right now I'm gonna use it as a paint palette. This is Smoky Slate. And then I'm also gonna add, we said, those three other colors, um, Sweet Sorbet. So this the Smoky Slate's a little bit lighter than the uh, Gray Granite. Here's my pool party. I hope you can see that with the video okay. And then Blushing Bride. Okay, so I'm gonna use this throughout the whole class to paint my images all, on, across all the cards. But what I have to do is be real careful that I don't actually put my hand in it, right? So I'm gonna take this and put it right to the side here and bring my image back into color. Ah, oh, my favorite thing to do is coloring. Here, actually, I'm move the mat because I'm not stamping. All right, so this Wink Estelle is already going. And um, I like 
having a little extra Wink of Stella, so I, I gave it a little push push again to, to make it make a puddle of uh, Wink of Stella over here, and it just makes it easier to paint when you go to pick up. Now, I am not gonna go into the darkest part of this sweet sorbet. I'm gonna come over here and pull some in and make a new color. Like, I don't want it to be super dark. And then I'm gonna use that paint mixture to color my balloon. And you just, I, I do like a little bit of extra Wink of Stella in there. Um, more than I would if I was just adding clear color. Okay. Now I need the scratch paper so I can clean my brush right there on the scratch paper. And then I'm gonna go and grab a little bit of smoky slate and put a little color on his ear. It is so fun, this, this technique. I love, it goes on so easy and it's easy to do. Next, I'm gonna give him a little bit of shadow. So he's sitting on the ground, but I want to bring him to life a little bit. So I am going to add a tiny bit of the smoky slate underneath where he would be casting a shadow. So underneath him and off to one side. I didn't go all the way around. I just went on one end. And I can even put a little under that cute little tail of his. And here we go. All painted there. I'll pick up a little more and then I'm gonna pull down. So I'm gonna just make some ground for him to sit on. Doesn't he look cute? Okay, so now I'm going to clean my brush again and now I'm gonna add just some clear Wink of Stella over my elephant. And he's, he, there's, a, there's a stamped image in here and it might pull a little bit of the gray, but I'm okay with that. I just wanna give him some sparkle. So here we go or her actually, because I think it, it's definitely a girl. So I think we should um, paint her toenails. What do you think? It's a girl birthday. So cute. Okay, so I'll clean my brush again because I had sweet sorbet on there. I'm gonna pick up a little pool party and give him some blue eyes. And we're almost done. Oh my gosh, isn't that great? Okay, and then don't forget to clean your brush in between colors. Okay. So then I will add a little bit of adhesive to the back and attach him down. If you want, you could pop him up on dimensionals, but I just went with the seal plus for this one. Okay, that's the first project. I hope you're loving this. Okay, so that's the first card. The second and the third card look very similar. Uh, one is a baby girl card. Uh, with butterflies and one is a baby boy card with a mouse so let's jump in um, we'll do the girl one first and of course I have my little pearls here but I'm going to put them off until the end and we'll put those on our card at the very end but while I have some of these pieces I'm going to do my stamping for both cards at the same time because I know that I'm using the same stamp twice so um, that's my girl card and here's the pieces for the boy card. They just come off the pile when you get your packet. So I've done all the die cutting for you. These um, are great basic stitched shapes and um, they're all in the supply list at the top of the page that I posted earlier. And um, I love this set so much. I have two of these die cuts. So, sweet little one is mounted on this A block and I, I went sideways because of the way that it's on there. And that's smoky slate, I need gray granite. I was already buried into the table here. Okay, so, sweet little one is gonna go all the way to the right hand side of this banner. And I'm gonna stamp twice, one for each card. And then I need to bring in my other elephant, my heffalump. This is the one with his snout up in the air. So cute. It, you know, it's supposed to be good luck um, when elephants have their snout up. My mom would say that. So one, two. 
And then for the girl card, we're gonna stamp a couple of butterflies. And for the baby boy one, we'll do a mouse. I just love this little mouse. And um, you wanna kinda get your nose equal with the table to make sure that you're putting the mouse on his back. So I wanna, I really wanna make sure that I he's sitting on there. So there we go. <laughs> Ta-da, so cute. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna bring my Wink Estella back in and I'm gonna do the same technique again um, to add some color to him and her. Um, I'll, I'll start by adding the ground in and I'm gonna um, pick up a little bit of my smoky slate. So that's the lighter gray. And I'll trace around the bottom of the image. And I picked the right hand side to have the shadow on. So I'll follow that through for both the cards. So, um, and to kind of save time on the coloring, when I get through the first one here, I'll just color the second one and uh, so we can move forward and you don't have to watch me color twice, but it's it's the same technique twice. You just, you put that, that color shadow down and then you pull, you drag it down. And every time it looks a little different, so don't worry about it if, if you feel like yours doesn't look exactly like mine, because even mine doesn't look exactly like mine. <laughs> They'll always be a tiny bit different when you're watercoloring. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so I put the shadow in on both. Now I'm gonna do his ear again. And then um, we'll do the mouse ear. So cute, I can't even stand it. And I kind of wanted to run the darker color all the way on the outside. And then now it's gonna be, I'm just gonna play until it, the ink color runs out. So I'll just add Wink Estella without adding more gray. Um, then I'll add Wink Estella to him and I'm gonna come in and add Blushing Bride and give him a little bit of, um, pink cheeks so cute and since I have the pink on my brush I'll do that part next I'm gonna do pink on her cheek and color the outside of those butterflies and you can go straight over it uh, with the blushing bride because we can fill in with the other color on top so here is my sweet sorbet and I picked up the darker pink and I'm just gonna touch it in the dots where the butterflies are. So here we go. And if you run low on color, you can always go back and get a little bit more. So don't feel like you need to like load your brush up with all color. So pretty. Okay, and then I'll clean my brush off. And what's next? We'll go in for a little eye color. So pool party and give him and her a blue eye. Of course, if you have brown eyes and you wanna put a brown on there, go ahead. No uh, equal opportunity here. All right, so there's my two images and I'll just assemble them one at a time. So um, this, adorable brick wall embossing folder. Again, it, these things will all be in the supply list. You don't need to own that. I've already embossed for you if you uh, decide to pick up the packet. So cute. And we'll just adhere this. Next, um, I did a half inch strip of the same color, pool party. And we'll attach that down. Notice that it's the same size as the blue underneath, so as far as the length, so just um, adhere edge to edge there. And then we can attach that onto our card base. So um, I will skip up to this step for the girl card and then um, finish off the card with you. But um, for now, I'll pull in, here's the little boy one. 
and we kind of determine from the bottom corner, two equal sides, and then I'll decide where I want this first so that when I go to stick it down, it's gonna look right. So I'll do this. And for this one, I did pop it up on dimensionals. Um, just put a few on the back. Now you see that I put a bunch of them on there, but I'm only gonna peel off the four corners. It's just about the right height. It's not about it being sticky enough. I, I always like to have a lot of um, support underneath my images so that if this card ends up in a drawer somewhere that it's still gonna look great. Um, so cool. Okay, so we're gonna do the same base for the girl card. And you're gonna use this piece again to determine where to put the uh, sentiment, just like before. And we'll slide that under to where this is gonna sit. And then we'll flip this over and adhere that down. Super sweet, and then this just goes on the card base. All right, so that's the third project. Still saving my little pearls so I don't lose them. Remember, if you spend 60 with me on the host code, I'm gonna give you a whole package of pearls instead of just the eight uh, that you get with your kit. And here is the last the pieces for the last project, so cute. Look at these little, so these embellishments came out of the dies that go with the elephant. Oh my gosh, so when you buy both the stamp set and the dies together, you save 10% when you bundle, so that's a pretty good deal. Okay, and then all the envelopes are sitting underneath there, so I'm gonna move that out to the side, and we'll stamp our elephant to start. This is the third elephant in this set, so cute. Such a happy little fella, let's see. And then we need our paint palette. See what I mean about it being easy to stick your hand in it. Luckily I haven't done that yet, um, but the night is young. <laughs> so here we go, I'm gonna um, pick up with my Wink Estella and paint under him to make that little shadow. So cute. And like, it's ground, so you can, you know, it can be perfect or it can be squiggles. It doesn't have to be, if you like it perfect, you can make yours perfect, but mine won't be. <laughs> and again, I'm sticking with the shadow on the right hand side and just figuring out where the ground might be. Okay, then I'm gonna bring in some more smoky slate and do his ears just like the other guys. Oh, so sweet. And then clean my brush, and then I'm just gonna add um, straight Wink Estella to make him a different color than the white. Um, and then here's his eye color. So cool. Oh, I almost forgot to stamp my sentiment. We've got um, soft sea foam. And again, I did all of my stamping with Smoky Slate. I'll never forget your kindness. Okay. So let's start to assemble this guy. We'll start with um, regular adhesive. For this one, I think I would bring in, I would suggest bringing in a little bit of liquid glue. Um, gotta be careful with liquid glue. If you are heavy handed, you may not like it that much. Um, but if you can just do a tiny little bit, um, I wanna put the bow on his tail and like, see the tiny little dot? I don't know if you can see that here. I'll show you close. So this little tiny dot is where I'm gonna take this and drop it on. And I'm gonna grab my take your pick tool for that and pick up the embellishment with the take your pick tool and drop it on his tail. So adorable. Then we gotta figure out where we want the greenery. And the same thing, I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive down here and use the, wink of, um, the take your pick tool 
to take your pick tool to drop the, the grass on there. So cute. And then finally, um, I'll, I'll probably use it to put this across too, but I wanna get this on the card base. So since I have the liquid glue in my hand, um, if you like liquid glue or if you wanna try it out, this is how I use it. I use little dots. I don't make them big earthquake dots. They're like little baby flat dots as much as possible because when you put your card base down, the liquid glue spreads out. So the nice thing about liquid glue is it gives you a little bit more um, leeway on time. So if you put your image on crooked or whatever, it will give you a second to move it around. Um, which is why I'm choosing liquid glue this time. And I like the dot method because I find when I do big long streaks, after a while and it dries down, especially on the white, cause it's a little thinner, um, it will leave marks. So I just like to do dots to adhere mine. Not to mention it goes, it goes a lot further that way. So here we go. I'm gonna um, tack my sentiment down. And when I cut this, I must've cut this side a little bit longer. Um, I just cut it at four and a quarter, but maybe because of the, the card is folded over, it's kind of hanging over a little. So at that point, we can use the trick that we did from the first card and flip it over so we can see where that line should be and give it a trim. So if you find yours is a little too long, that's how you fix it. So now I'm gonna take my paint palette and move it because I don't wanna make any, you know, oopsies. And I'm gonna bring in my pearls and I'm gonna add all of the pearls to the areas where they were intended. I did one for the middle of the bow. And then um, one on the exclamation point in happy day. It indeed is a happy day, yay. And then um, three on both of the baby cards. Now for these, I would recommend doing the middle one and then going left and right because it'll make it easier for you to see where the third one should sit. And you just pick it up and push down where you think it goes. Yeah, I like doing the middle first for that reason. Or you could go the other way. You could do the two outside ones and then place the middle one if you think you can get it like more centered that way. Super cool though. And it just makes an easy, it's an easy way to grab your tools, your pearls. All right. So that is all four projects just like that. Thank you so much for letting me come to you uh, for a workshop and I am away. Um, it's so great. My husband asked me what I wanted for my birthday and I told him I wanted to go camping. So here we are camping, so happy. Um, but I hope you love these cards. If you place an order on my host code, your packets will ship Monday when I get home. So it's, um, it won't ship normal like the same day or whatever. It'll be, it'll be when I get home on Monday. So let me just flip the camera and I'll just say thank you again for joining me. Thanks for um, supporting my small business. Thanks for your orders. Thanks for your love and support. And I will see you guys next Tuesday at three o'clock. Um, there is also a quarterly happening. It's, it's a mega stamp camp. So it is 24 different projects out of the new celebration catalog and holiday catalog. So 12 are from celebration and 12 are from the holiday catalog. If you think to join me, um, the link to join my email list is up above and um, you can be a part of that as well. As long as it's not sold out, it's limited to 48 packets, first come first serve. So thanks again for joining me and I will see you guys next week.